Hello guys, and today I'll be reviewing and I guess partially unboxing the iPhone 4S for you guys. As you can see, iPhone 4S. Um, let me get my light. Fix that. It's supposed to say iCloud. iCloud, iPhone 4S, Apple. This isn't my phone, this is my stepdad, so we go. Um, in the back you'll see some letters. It's a 4, 16 gigabyte. It's the smallest they offer now. It, I think it's 16, 32, and then 64 gigabytes. And what this basically says is what it comes with, um, such as your Apple earbuds, the phone itself. Uh, the your phone obviously has the remote and mic um, charging cable, and then it has the USB adapter. I'm not sure if the 4 came with it, but it's 30 bucks if you buy off the Apple Store, which is a pretty big rip off if you think about it. So, and then I'll just say what else it supports, etc. Blah blah blah. I think this is locked by AT&T. I'm not sure. So even if you're GMS, if you're running GMS, say T-Mobile, uh, 1800, it won't work. Um, let's see requirements. Yeah, the wireless plan, Apple ID. So yeah, you've got to have the service to use this phone. Um, iTunes, blah blah blah. All right. So let's get to it. And just open this. It's already been unboxed before, so the phone came with those. The phone is charged now, so uh, let's look in the box, pull this thing off. I think this is a instruction manual. Fingertips. Let's see. Um iCloud, iTunes stores, uh, basically telling you the basic features of this uh, little device. And it does have a faster, much faster processor than the original um, I iPhone 4. Uh, I believe it's two times, no, uh, I forgot, it's the A5 processor, I believe. It's two times faster or whatever. It's the ones that they're using in the iPads now. So you're going to get faster graphic speeds and the processing itself. Um, here's a little manual for you guys that wants to read it. Uh, I'm not into this, so yeah, set that aside. Continuing on, you get your promised um, adapter. Not adapter. Uh, AC. AC to USB adapter to charge your phone. So like when you're traveling or whatever. Handy. Sync cable. Everyone knows what this is. Um, little syncing thing with that. Uh, I forgot, it's like 24 pin, I believe, 2434, forgot, but yeah, syncs your iPod relatively fast. If I can put this back in, I'll fix that later. And then you got your earphones, the Apple earbuds that everyone likes for some reason. I don't like them at all, <laughs> but yeah, there they are. Um, Oh, this and these ones have the volume, so it's like a control talk. They have the volume switch and the call key. It's nice. So yep, those are the earbuds. And now to the phone. It's black. Let's see if I can get it into the light. See that? It. I think it looks the same as the iPhone 4. I'm not sure, but I think the screen's a bit bigger. I'm not 100% sure, but I will get my friend's iPhone 4 and compare it with this phone later on. Oop, smudge. Um, let's see the camera. This new camera is 8 megapixels and records in 1080p, which is very, very, very fine quality. Um, it's the highest quality right now that's out. Um, 4K by 2K is going to come out soon later on, but you know, who's going to use that on their phone? But here is the Apple iPhone. Uh, I believe it says designed in California, assembled in China, so I'm guessing the parts the parts probably come from China too, I'm guessing. Um, here on the side, same thing as the iPhone 4, um, the vibration switch, switch it down for vibrate, switch it up for sound, um, volume up, volume down button, your two speakers. I'm not sure if they improved the sound quality of these, but it's a phone, so you can't expect much from the speakers. Um, the connector for your, um, what you want to call it, 24 pin uh, USB cable. Then on the top, you got your power button, 
and power slash standby I'm sorry and this is the 3.5 millimeter jack which I am hoping that they improved the sound quality on because the old one had not amplified the sound quite enough for people audiophiles to like so let's open this iPhone and here there's different languages telling you to slide to unlock so ooh so they got all types of languages. If you want to pause and look if your language is in here, it probably is. Do so. Just gonna go English, United States, next. Uh, I'm gonna enable this for now. And then I'm gonna connect to my home. Um, let's see, what's my password? Give me a second. So I type this in. Um, there we go, it's connecting, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of, so I'm guessing they had a, they had a signal boost for the Wi-Fi, activating your phone, um, let's see, set up a new phone, restore from iTunes, um, let's see, just click next. Um, we're gonna skip this step for now. Are you sure you must have an I Apple ID to use the Apple Store? Blah blah blah. We'll do this later. Um, let me see terms and condition. You got your amazing manual. Well, not manual. Your terms to accept and conditions, which no one reads. So accept. Um, I agree. Ooh, now this is a new Siri feature. Um. I'm not sure because this is not my phone, so I'm not sure if it'll work with my voice, but let's just turn it on. Diagnostics, send, automatically send. If there's any problems, they'll send to Apple and then they'll fix it later on for you. iPhone is now set up, ready to start up using your OS. Start using iPhone. Press home and hold to use Siri. Okay, so now you got your basic Apple, um, what do you call this, home screen. Yes, and something that Apple included that was in the Android or copied Android <laughs> was this whoosh, notification uh, slider, I would say. Okay, so right now I live in Edison. Mm, let's see, there's no weather because you need internet or something. But here's the stocks, and then you just slide this back up. And it's gone. Basically, you can put like different stuff in here, like your music, um, weather. This is, uh, I believe, iOS 5. I'm not that big of an Apple guy anymore, so. <laughs> um, let's see. Then you got your camera, messaging, all your basic, um, all your original um, Apple apps, but with an exception of Newsstand, which is um, basically if you download like the New York Times, you have like a little icon here that's. Oh, I would say New York Time, and when you click on it, it will bring you to, obviously, the news, and you'll read from there. And the one thing that everyone don't like is that you cannot delete this. So people who don't want this, they can't get rid of it. That's one downside. Um, let's see. Shall we go to the camera? Camera quality. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Camera would like to use your current location don't allow uh... later alright so um... yeah there's autofocus now so um... if i can get something that's really big in detail uh, i'm just gonna get something random like this okay oh. it autofocuses and it does a quite good job not bad for a phone with 8.0 megapixel so yep and then you got your video video usually runs faster this is 1080 look at how smooth the camera movement is when you go back to camera it gets a bit choppier as you can see so yep um, and then there's your flasher obviously and some other stuff you can browse your photos in here let me just take a picture really fast on um, Apple box picture go in here zoom in wow 
it's pretty good quality. Yeah, see this? It's really good quality. Search. Whoop. They're usually they usually have really good quality. They're usually in HD. Well, if we can get it on the screen playing. Get this. Um, so far, yeah, the HD content looks pretty good on this. Skip it further to the gameplay of it. Whoa. No, 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 not you. Notif no. Okay. So the quality is not bad, actually, on this. This isn't even HD2. I believe this, that was a 360, 360p. Um, so yeah. So YouTube works fine. Um, the phone also, I forgot to include, has dual antennas now, because the first iPhone had this problem with their signal. So now there's two of them to provide maximum signal strength. I'm running out of time, so let me finish this. Um, you got your stocks, then you got your maps, maps, easy. It runs faster, obviously, with the new processor. Um, let's see, clock, we all know what that is. The phone. Uh, there you go. It works. Um, let's see, Safari. See how fast web pages load. Um, let's go to something really big like um, cancel G. G4.com, let's see, go to their website, usually have a lot of stuff there. Ooh, zoom in, pinch in is really fast on this full website, just to see how much stress this can take. Wow, it's loading and I can move it like really well, nicely, see that? It's not slow whatsoever, this new processor. Browsing the web is made much easier. I can tell you guys that. Oh. Obviously the browsing needs to load first. Let's go to videos if they have any. I might make a part two of this, so uh, I'll see. Battlefield, yeah, it loads really fast. I can tell you guys that. If you, if you guys have 4G, it's going to be even faster because 4G is almost as fast as um, Wi-Fi now. So, yep, ah, and that's about it. Your settings, you go in there, hit hollow, yeah, that's, let's see, do, 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 iCloud, iCloud, basically, oh, it clouds through your um, iTunes, I think, I believe, um, or the Apple servers, and you can sync it or do whatever you want through wirelessly. So, yeah, that's a cool thing. Uh, Twitter, uh, messages, music. All your basic necessities and stuff. And um, airplane mode, obviously. Uh, let's go to general. About. I don't want you guys to get the firmware and stuff, so let me just. Not firmware. Um, where is it? Alright, so it's version 5.0, as you can see there. And uh, right now it's only 13.6 gigabytes for capacity. Capacity because. The OS itself takes, um, I don't know how much, uh, I'm guessing it's 2.4, because that's how much it's showing. So, yep. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's the new iPhone 4S, and yeah, I don't really see anything else to review for you guys, unless I get a game on this and some cases for you guys to review. So, yeah, um, in the comment sections, uh, tell me what you guys want to see, like, um, new things about this. Uh, cases, um, new apps, uh, all those kind of stuff. I'll review it to you guys, and I still want to try this. Oh, one more thing. Let's try the music player. There's no music, so I can't do that for you guys now. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching my review, and uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment. Later.